Just wanted to do a quick video showing everybody what I'm up to. I've currently been working on a Firebase Composables um, package for Vue and also moving that over to Quasar UI. So utilizing that package in Quasar UI. Let me just show you. So let's say Quasar create and we'll say Quasar Firebase play and basically my goal here was to make it as ridiculously simple as possible to get up and running with firebase and now that i've done that the next step that i want to do is then make it super easy to then start extending that and basically customizing it uh to your particular needs so all you'll have to do um once this is installed and i've installed the extension is basically copy in this config so my goal is to make it so you literally just copy this config and you're up and running, but then you can start sort of opting out of things um, as you start needing more advanced features with Firebase. So that's the goal here, really simple by default, but then you can just sort of take things out and customize them to your needs. Uh, yeah, as you, um, as you wanna do things that are more advanced. All right, how's this going? That's almost done. It's done, so let's CD into Quasar-Firebase-Play and open that in code. I'm going to throw this on my top screen. Cool. Now, the next thing we want to do is add the extension. Now, one thing that I need to fix, let me just add the extension first. Quasar extension add, and it is called Firebase. So we add Quasar's Firebase extension. And another thing that we actually have to add is um, yarn add Firebase and Firebase dash composable. So this is my package here that I've built, which is basically the Firebase composables that make it easier to deal with Firebase um, in Vue projects. So that's not just Quasar specific, that's Vue specific. Now I want to remove this step. I'm currently running into some problems with peer dependencies. So I'm going to put in the extra work to make sure that you don't actually have to do this extra step of installing um, those dependencies. I'm hoping that I can make it so the extension installs them for you, but I was kind of having some conflicts of versions and stuff like that. So anyway, that's my problem to solve. Hopefully we'll be able to skip this step. But um, while that's going, if I go to config now, notice we have this new config folder that it gives us and we get this Firebase config and it gives you an idea of what that config looks like. All you have to do is basically grab this from your Firebase project and this is all gonna be nicely documented and just paste it in there. And that's it. You've got everything you need to get up and running with Firebase. And I actually mean everything when I say that. So check this out. If we now say Quasar Dev, now that that's all installed, and then cross my fingers, because I've been playing around with this quite a bit lately, so hopefully everything's gonna run smoothly. And we'll give that a second to run. Now they're on the new um, web pack. This is, yeah, it's loading really fast now. So, um, one problem is I haven't set up redirects properly from the home page, but if we go to login now, notice that it takes us to a login page. We get that for free and this is going to be customizable. And we also get a register page for free as well. So let's say something at gmail.com as the email. And I'm just going to put in a password there as well. So now we register and there we go. We are logged into our account. However, we probably want to log out button as well. And luckily, it's really easy to do. And I've actually offered a component for that as well. So we come down here. I'm just, and this is in the main layout. So basically, I'm trying to plug into this toolbar over here. I'm going to say import. I believe it's called Firebase sign out button. And that's coming from Quasar UI Firebase. All right, so basically this extension comes with a logout button that we can pluck out of there and let's just whack it into the components. Oh, I think it's probably telling me we have to use it as well. So now if we come up here, let's just get rid of the version part there and we're gonna change that to this Firebase sign out button. And this is actually a Quasar button. So we can add in stuff like round. All I've done is basically wrapped it and added the click event. We can say round, we could say flat. Let's just do that to begin with. Give this a quick little refresh. Mm, all right, we're getting some weird uh, error in the console there. Oh, okay, it looks like it is working. I just had to give it an icon. Once again, as I said, this is a Quasar button, so I can just say log out as the icon. And there we go, we've got our log out button. If I click on that, it works, it logs me out. 
Now, check this out. If you actually, lo if I log in again here, uh, there's one I added before. I believe that's what it is. So there we go. Let's sign in again there. Uh, if I try and go to the login page, it actually handles the redirects for me and brings me back to this page. Same with that register page. And so the idea is I'm trying to do as much work as possible by default. Um, but then, like I mentioned before, you will then be able to kind of um, change things. Like if you don't want the automatic routing, you can remove that. Or if you want to customize the automatic routing and say, what are the pages that only auth users can view? You can set that up and then you can say, what are the pages that only the unauthorized people can view? For example, the register and the login page. Um, and the idea is you'll be able to just jump into this Firebase config. And I don't know what that'll look like. You'll be able to say, for example, auth routes and then maybe um, unauth routes or something like that. I haven't decided on what I'll call that yet. But there we go, up and running with Firebase super, super quickly. How cool is that? Now we've got this um, amazing way to get up and running fast. And the idea is, obviously I had to do that Yarn um, installing stuff as well, but the idea is all you'll have to do is say Quasar extension add, um, and then Firebase. So you add the Firebase extension, and then you'll get this folder for free. It'll create it for you. And all you have to do is paste in your config and you're ready to go. You've got a login page. You've got a register page. I've actually got social auth set up in this package as well. So all I have to do now is figure out how to create like a nice looking component for social auth as well. And yeah, so that's where it's currently at. And by the way, if you want to look at the documentation for the Firebase, um, what is it? What did I call it? Firebase Composables. And go to firebasecomposables.netlify.app. Um, this is the documentation I'm currently working on. If you want to get an idea of all the stuff that will be available in the app extension, we've even got stuff like keeping Firestore data in sync. And a lot of this code was um, heavily inspired by Vue Use. Um, so massive thank you to Anthony Fu and the guys over there. But yeah, things like looking at the auth state, um, handling social providers as well. I've made it really, I haven't got the, done the documentation for this yet, but made it really easy to be able to say, log in with Facebook, log in with Google, log in with whatever. It's going to be stupid simple to set that up. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's what I've been working on. It's a little bit messy at the moment. And by the time you see this video, maybe try and install things yourself, things might have changed. So just be aware of that. But yeah, I look forward to keeping on working on this and getting your feedback. And by the way, if you do want to do something like this, and you've, you've always wondered, like, how do you set up Firebase with Quasar, then feel free to just go check out the code for this. I believe it's under um, github.com slash ldbold. That's my account. And I probably called it um, Quasar UI Firebase, I've probably called it. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. So you can head on over there if you'd like to um, and basically just have a look at the code. Have a look at what I've done here. If you jump into UI and then we jump into source and then the components here, you can have a look at all of my components. Oh, it looks like I haven't committed the Git code. So I'll do that at the end of this video. So. Anyway, I'm waffling now, now, so there you go. Check it out. Have a play with it. Let me know what you like. Let me know some of the features that you might like me to add here. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a stupid, in a, what am I saying? In a future stream. Sorry, it is late at night. <laughs> All right, bye for now.